Okay, hi, dear friends. Welcome. I hope you're well. This is Chris. Um, I have part two, basically, of my dream designs. Um, I'm just going to open it while I'm talking. Um, so, again, I, I got this um, during the Black Friday 2021 sale. Um, it was a buy one, get 70% off. And I had some money left on a gift card. And I really liked the two designs that I got. Actually, I really love them. Um, and otherwise, I would not have bought anything if I just saw, like, one of them. I would have waited for another time. But I got lucky. And uh, so here we are. So the first one I did was Orange Crush. It was a round. It was a 60 by 80. This is also a 60 by 80. Um, but... And hold on to the socks. It is a square. Now, I have not... I have decided not to get squares too much more. Only because, you know, they're gigantic and they're more, so much work. All this, that, and the other thing. And um, But occasionally I will get one because... I just love the artwork so much, and I love the artwork on this one. And also, which is also funny, is not only that it's a square, it's a, it's a category which I have really shied away from. Like, when I first started, I really kind of, because they're so beautiful, I was like, oh, let me get some, and I got them, and now I have some, and I'm like, mm, I don't really want to do them anymore. And that's landscapes. I'm just not a landscape person as far as diamond painting goes looking at landscapes adoring them admiring them thinking they're gorgeous yes of course 100 percent diamond painting them it's a little bit of a bore and a downer for me um but i just love this one so much and i don't think there's going to be tons of neutrals which is an also another issue so i'll go through this real quick um since it is a separate video for anybody who is not, if you're, this is your first time watching me or Dream Designs. Um, so it comes in the box, of course, as you've seen. It comes in this, this bag. And it has their logo on it down here. Um, their toolkit is a like microfiber, beautiful, uh, want to cuddle up with it bag. And you get two hand grips for your dime painting pen which they give you two of those as well. One of them, the regular tip, and this is a plastic one. The plastic one's good for using uh, ABs. If for some reason they don't stick as much. You get a couple multi-placers, but not the good ones. So, oops, I just tossed those. You also get a straightener, which is always appreciated because you need to straighten those drills out, people. You get two little things of wax and these little caddies. You get two trays, tinier trays, that are also branded on the back, but I don't use them, so trash. Some bags in a bag, always good for storage. And you always get a set of branded, by the way. It's down there. Dreamer Designs, Murder Tweezers. Super sharp, so be careful. Okay, now let's get into the contents. So here we have our canvas. Oh, they packed them in two. That's how another way you can tell the squares. For some reason, they tend to pack them in two bags. Ooh, don't peek. Did you see that? No peeking. So here is our colors. And just some of them. Okay. And they also have this pretty little ribbon they put on. That's so nice. They come on this foam roller, which is kind of, uh, you know, unnecessary. You get a Dreamer Designs community page for all that information. And on the other side is instructions in case this is your first ever kit. Now, before we look at the canvas, here we have a color list. Here it is, a sticker sheet 
There are 69 colors. I think this is the largest amount of colors I've ever had in dime painting. These are all individually. Ooh, see, I was just going to try to show you real quick, but that fell off. So obviously these fall off quite easily. So be careful. The stickers uh, to put on your containers. Be careful with that. I really like that they're doing it this way instead of the old way. They also they used to give you a sticker sheet, but it was super annoying, quite frankly. This their sticker sheet of old. Um, I'm not going to try to roll this. I'll let you see the canvas first, and then I'll fix it. Because the last video I tried fixing it and it didn't work, and I just had to do it anyways. So here we go. Ready? <laughs> See, you're ready. Gazebo by the sea. So now that you've seen a quick glance at it and you know what it is, <laughs> I'm going to roll it back. Um, as I said before, their canvas is a quite stiff canvas. I like that because it helps with framing and hanging on the wall. Um, it doesn't sag as much as when a lot of the softer canvases do if it's not perfectly framed or hanging. So this is a landscape. This is a in the landscape uh, orientation and it's a landscape in design. Come on. I just have my I have stuff over there so you can't see it and you can't see into the whole angle anyways. <clears throat> okay. Let's start over here. We're going to have to take this piece by piece, people. Okay, the information is up here. It's Gazebo by the Sea, licensed from Alan Gianna. Again, it's a 60 by 80 centimeter. Um, and so our color list is on both sides. So on this side, let's take a look. Let's tour the canvas. We have, of course, the beautiful blue sky up here. You have a bird flying in the sky there, a leaf from a tree. We have the gazebo, not the gazebo. This is a lighthouse in the background. So not, you get a two for one. You get a gazebo and a lighthouse. How fantastic is that, right? Lighthouse with a beautiful greenery and flowers over here, down here onto the land, which is, you know, perspective. You know, that's all the way over there, but, and then it's coming, around here beautiful perspective into the area here Let me move this into the flowers here again in camera they look beautiful and up close it's just like well that's just a bunch of colors <laughs> here now we have a butterfly not necessarily to scale or <laughs> and a, a dragonfly they wouldn't be that gigantic normally but you know you got to do what you got to do if <laughs> they can't be, you know, two drill sizes, right? Um, so they're, they're uh, alien butterflies and dra dragonflies. And you got the beautiful green here on the grass. We have the sea. We have our Adirondacks. I think that's what they're called. Chair here. Again, our little pathway. A pathway here. Gorgeous succulents. Again, to our gigantic, beautiful. I'm trying to. Come on. Beautiful gazebo. Again, look at that. I love gazebos. I would kill for one. Almost literally kill for one. I. They're just so beautiful. Again, we have flowers over here. We have more alien butterflies. We have this kind of, is that like a lighthouse um, decoration type thing? Yeah, it's like a lighthouse decoration. At least that's what it looks like to me in the garden. Again, up here we have again the sky with some butterflies and leaves. Still, we see the sea and the flowers. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Now, uh, whoop, before I say that, let me just check the sticky. 
Yes, very sticky. Oh, no, 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 nah. Now, in my opinion, I do not generally like Dreamy Designs landscapes. They look too. The thing about Dreamy Design is they, if you can see through here, and you can see it in here, their they their renderings are very linear or line, whatever you want to call it. So a lot of stuff is always lines, 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 and landscapes that doesn't really work. In a lot of landscape pictures, in my opinion, when you're dealing with foliage and trees and lots of lines and seas, because a lot of these have seas and stuff, and it just looks bizarre to me. So I'm generally not a fan of their landscape renderings. However, this one looks absolutely fabulous. The, now, the, this C is a little bit linear. Um, however, I don't think that it looks bad or it takes away from the picture. If I was to criticize anything, that would be probably the only issue is that the C could be done in a more, you know, smooth way. But I can, again, live with that that's not a big deal it's a nitpicky thing as far as i'm concerned this picture or i should say this artwork is stunning the rendering looks absolutely fantastic it's something that's that means and i don't know it means a lot but it certainly speaks to me because again i'm somebody i want to live near the ocean or by the ocean I love gazebos. I want. I, I, I adore them. I do like lighthouses. I think they're very interesting. And I just like to look at them. Look of them. And I love flowers. And so this, this whole thing. Uh, butterflies in here as well. I mean this whole picture. The beautiful colors. It all speaks to my aesthetic. Of where I want to be. And it renders gorgeous. I, I, I just love it. Love it, love, love it. So, with that said, oh, 69 colors, my God. It doesn't even look like there's that many colors. Honestly, there's so much color blocking in here. I didn't talk about that in the other one uh, with an orange crush. But, I mean, guys, come on. The sky, all up in here, the sky is all this blue is one color then we go into the clouds which are maybe two or three colors yeah mm, let's see <clears throat> one two three Th three slash four colors in the sky well depending i mean the clouds depending again that's still a lot there's still color blocking there because it's a large area and here again color blocking color blocking color blocking Oh, color blocking. The leaves, they're going to all be a couple a couple shades of in the leaves. <clears throat> That's not a lot of changes. Color blocking. In here, there's a lot of line in the gazebo top. There's a lot of line work, but there, again, there's only a handful of colors. Uh again, the gazebo itself, color blocking. The way the ocean lines of color blocking, color blocking. And and it depend and again, if you do sections like I do, you look at this. Okay, so you're gonna have this section right here. You're gonna have lines again, lines of color blocking, color blocking of the light green, color blocking of the medium sized green, um, color green, color blocking of the darker green, color blocking of this green, that green, that. You know, you're not just taking. It's not confetti. These are all color blocked. You know things i will love this and it being a square it's going to make this so easy so much easier than if it was a huge like confetti confetti even when again when we're in the the these flower areas there might be like let's say let's say 20 colors or something if you were to work on this end over here However, you, again, you're not just taking out for like two or three colors. Maybe over here you might that might happen. But everywhere else, again, you're going to be doing lines. This is a multi-placer square person's heaven. 
again, this is really good. It's ama like I said, it's amazing that there's 69 colors in here. Because there's no con real, what I would call real confetti anywhere. Everything is color block with a handful of colors. Where are the 69 colors? Okay. So, since I keep talking about them, let's look at them. Oh, I, did I say how many ABs? I don't remember. Only three. So, we we fell from seven in the last one to three here. Oops, earthquake. Sorry. So, you know, you could always add your own. Okay. So, let's just oh, go through them real quick. Just want to look at them. Per you, any square, you don't know how it is until you work on it. And I think it's by kit by kit. To me, it doesn't matter what company it's from, what kit it is. One can have great colors. One can have, not, I mean, uh, great squares. Another one can have not so great. But again, all these, I don't see any tabs or anything wrong with these. They all look beautiful to me so far. Just, or I should say, just through a quick glance. And this is just a quick run through of the colors. I mean, again, that's our black. The only thing that looks like this that I might not like about these are it looks like some of them might be a little staticky and that's a problem and then I have to deal with how to get static out and not use dryer sheets which I think cause problems beautiful too right there oops wrong pile so first we had some neutrals now we're going into the colors and not many browns in this. There are some neutrals like here. Not too many though. I can deal with grays and blacks. I don't have a problem with that. It's just the browns that I don't like. But again, personal issue there. Okay, that's package one. must be for the sky just blue because there's four packages of those now we've got to the AB so that's our end of the regular ones now the AB starts now we'll have two bags of this white we'll have a bag of this green and two bags of this beautiful blue. So one, two, three, four, five. So we have three colors, but five big bags of ABs. I'm good with that. No little bags of ABs make me happy. Oops, I should keep them here. Nope, not that one, this one. I should keep them here, because let's just, before we leave, let's take a tour and see where do the ABs go. So first we're going to start out with the white. 
here. And that is an open zero color or symbol. And that's everywhere. You have it down in here in this decoration. I'm calling it lighthouse decoration, excuse me. Up here in the tops, we have some down in the flower over here, these pink flowers. Um, then the gazebo has tons of them in the, the frame. And across here, some on the top into the frame. Um, we have some in the clouds. Not too many, but just to accent the clouds. Again, throughout here. We have some in the white house, lighthouse over here. Again, accenting the clouds. A couple into the ocean. We're uh, again accenting the ocean. A couple. Uh, we have some in the Adirondack chair. Actually, not a couple. Most of the Adirondack chair, except for the back, but the arms and the the sitting area. A lot of that is AB. And we have some more down in the flowers, down in here, a couple in here, and some in the dragonfly. I know you can't see it. Um, then we have the green AB right here. That's a J color. So again, J will go pick a green. That's not true because, don't pick a green because it's not everywhere. So we have some in the flower leaves over on the left side. I know you can't see it. There's not too many. Again, as well as in the top over here, this leaf, there's some in there. There is none in this patch of grass. No ABs in the grass over there. None in the succulents over here. We have some J's over here, again in here. Again on this flower over here, uh, this greenery here and we have J's in the or the AB gr greens J's in the greenery up top in here so not as many greens as you'd think but enough to put lots of accents again it's going to accent it beautifully and now these blues right here which is the hourglass symbol Let's see. A couple in a butterfly down in the corner. Some in this blue flower here. Again, some in the blue flower down in here. Down in here. And some in the, the bird here. Then we have some in the sea. Again, just a few lines here and there, not too much. But we have a lot in the background. So for instance, again, the back here is green, which is a uh, blue, and that's all one solid color, G. And then down in this color where it shades, all this is another color, that is all the blue AB in this area right here. Through there, through here. We have a little bit through here. Some in, again in patches there. Then we have G back here, G G G, and then we have some the the blue A B in here, in here, in here, in here. Again into the C a little bit, a tiny there. So there we have it. We have our gazebo by the sea it's it's a stunner of a piece i really can't wait to not only see this done it's a square i'm looking forward to because of all this color blocking again with 69 colors and being a landscape you wouldn't think there would be this much color blocking but there is and before i leave you and i guess to prove my point a little bit i'm going to bring it up now again in this the flower areas yes there's more confetti however it's it's color blocking confetti i would call it there's not just t little tiny bits here and there there's the same kind of colors are used 
in the one area. So it's not going to drive you crazy. At least for me, it doesn't. And then again, look at the greens over there. You have patches of one color. Okay, it's really hard to give you good close-up looks with large canvases, so I did the best I could. I hope you enjoyed these two unboxings from Dreamer Designs. Um, they're real stunners. I love them. I can't wait to see them, and I can't wait to do them. Um, again, check them out if you like. Um, thank you all for watching, for your support, love, kindness, and all that good stuff. And please, until next time, everybody, be safe, be happy, stay safe, stay happy. Bye, guys.